Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Shapeshifters is here. We are rolling from one promo into the next. Team of the season is ending. Shapeshifters is starting. We've had this loading screen. We've had some leaks. I got to talk about the players that are coming into the game today because there are some really big names and some really insane potential cards that could be dropping today as a part of this promo team. I want to take a look at those leaks, like I mentioned, and talk about what content to expect and what to expect on the game today as we do enter in another promo. And this one has been a fan favorite in the past in FIFA 20 because of the position change, the skill move, weak foot upgrades that these cards got. If EA go all out with it today, which we hope they do, today could bring some really fire cards to the game they've already got the car design added in the game here you can see the shapeshifters design is already here and available and ready for the cards that are dropping today and uh, also today is a monumental day and the fact that team of the season is ending can we just take and think about that for a second the promo that we have been in for the last six weeks is coming to a close today and we find they're going to have new cards to look at with different car designs and stuff like that so that's just minor things that we're talking about. But there's a lot that's going to go on today regarding the market, regarding SBCs and objectives. Um, and we'll talk all about it and more in today's video. So if you're excited for Shapeshifters, hit the thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with the leaks. Let's start from the top and just talk about what cards are coming today. We've got some big names. Started off with the headline player on the loading screen, Lionel Messi. Now, hopefully... We get a 99 rated Leo Messi today. All of these stats that you see in these predictions uh, are predictions. They're not final stats. These are predicted stats. And of course, the position changes and hopefully some of the skill move and weak foot upgrades are a big part of this promo. A striker Messi. Hopefully it's 99 rated. Hopefully they max out his dribbling and passing. And I would say give him 99 shooting as well, EA Sports. This would be a great card for Messi today. Of course, that central position change would be sick. Now, that's a great card, right? But get a load of this. Alfonso Davies striker card. Now, I don't know if these are going to be the stats again. And I was talking about this yesterday on stream. But this card looks like too good to be true. You know, like it, I almost feel like if they're going to do a huge striker upgrade to a guy like Alfonso Davies. Of course, at this stage of the game, this is like the type of card that's going to get people hyped. Um, but I feel like there's, there's going to be some sort of like caveat to this. Like remember in rule breakers where they would make somebody really pacey, but they would like drop their dribbling down or something. I think that they would drop Alfonso Davies, defense down, maybe a little bit or something. I don't know, but this card looks absolutely disgusting. Not as a striker really, but as a box to box or a center attacking mid, this card would be absolutely unbelievable. That's one of the biggest names. And I think this would be one of the most hyped cards people would be looking forward to today on this game in Alfonso Davies. Scrolling up through the list a little bit more, we've got ourselves a Shapeshifter Atal. Now, we don't know all the positions to these cards, but of course, Shapeshifter Atal was a very, very popular card in FIFA 20 with the Shapeshifters promo, and he looks like he's getting another item. Of course, it might be right mid, could be center mid, who knows what it is going to be, but that's a pretty big name that is leaked. Hyunmin Sun is getting into shapeshifters as well. Probably a striker card, right? Because all of his cards this year have been left wing. Hopefully this one is central. And as you've seen here, Sonaldo and Davies and Messi have all had team of the season cards. So it's not just cards that haven't had tots that are getting into the promo today, but there are some of those like Eden Hazard, our second Eden Hazard special uh, on the year. Don't know what position it's going to be, but this would be a pretty cracked out card. We needed a boosted hazard for the end game. I think this was a special one. We need that one. The Real Madrid links, of course. A lot of people are excited for that. That's a big one. Aubameyang, he's getting in the promo team today. Reminds me of foot birthday Aubameyang from FIFA 19. I think it was a right wing card. And then this is the other one on the loading screen. If you load into FIFA right now and you see uh, the Dutch player with 99 pace, St. Juste is that player that's incredible. Now, I don't know what position he's going to be. Probably center defensive mid, maybe right back. I don't know. Maybe left back. Who knows what this card position is going to be uh, today. But that's a crazy card that a lot of people will want to try out with the 99 pace stat on that item right there. And I believe the last one that we have leaked as of right now when I'm recording this is Kalulu, the Milan. He is a form. I think he's a right back. But I don't know what position he's going to be changed to. Hopefully, like a center. Imagine those stats on a center back. That would be crazy. And that would cause a lot of hype today on this game. So, looking at these cards, right? 
There's some really crazy potential with these. And like I mentioned, the shapeshifter potential and people re remembering this promo from years past know that today could bring some pretty fire cars to the game. Pretty fire content. Shapeshifters are just cool because it's cars that, you know, have moved in position. You know, you think about being able to use a Messi card. Every single one of Messi's cars this year has been a right wing or some right side of, uh, you know, player position. We haven't had any central ones. Same thing with Hyunmin Sun, right? We haven't had any central versions of him. Alfonso Davies has been a left back. He had the Rule Breakers card, which was good. But being able to move these cards into different positions, especially with a couple weak foot or skill move upgrades, if they make the Sun that comes out today, Striker with 5-star, five 5-star, five star, that's going to be a card I have to insert into my squad immediately. So that's kind of the hype with today, right? And it feels like there's most of the hype today on this game is for the cars that are going to be in packs, right? Like we talked about the Davies, we talked about um, the Atal, the St. Juice. It seems like there's really, really hype cards in packs. The SBCs that we have leaked as of right now don't seem to be like as hyped. And we covered those in an earlier video, but Carrasco and... Um, Carrasco and Felipe Anderson are the two SBC players that we have leaked right now, a central version of Carrasco. So here's here's what I really think about today, guys, if I'm being honest. I really think that today with the Shapeshifters promo, it comes down to the full team that is in packs. They have to be really, really hype cards. They have to be pretty boosted. And EA has to find a way to make them decently cheap because this market in the past couple, uh, honestly, this past week has taken an absolute, um, it, it just, it's like, dive, dove in price. I can't speak. It's just been slashed in price. Prices everywhere are falling because of how cheap the Ultimate Tots cards are, you know, since they've gone back into packs. And it's basically just dragged the whole market down with it. When you had guys like um, Teo Hernandez, who was 1 million coins, who's now 590,000 coins. Some of these cards have already started to rebound back a little bit because they're about to go out of packs. And, you know, depending on how this promo goes today and how these cards look, how expensive they are on the market, these Ultimate Tots cards actually might start to rebound just a little bit because there are so many of them. They're still so hyped. And, um, you know, if, if these cards today and if the SBC content isn't that hype, I think you might see some people go out and just buy other cards on the game like TOTS cards that are still very, very good to fill out some of the rest of their team. So that's the biggest caveat for today is if the shapeshifters are somehow really cheap. Now, how would EA do that, right? There's not a lot of saved packs. So the way they're going to have to do that today is honestly either crank up the pack weight or give everybody free packs or drop preview packs. We have not had preview packs of any kind in a long time. But if I remember back to last year in the summer, during the Path to Glory promo, which was right after Team of the Season, the second week of Path to Glory is when we had preview packs for the first time and it destroyed the market. But I honestly think, if I had to guess, I think today that the Shapeshifter cards are going to come out on the market and they're going to be really expensive. Um, I don't know. I don't see how EA is going to make them super duper cheap. I think they're going to be overpriced. I think they're going to be too expensive. And I think you're going to see some of the market even rebound back up higher than where it was because these cards are expensive. Yes, they're going to be hype, but I think they're going to be pretty pricey. So that's kind of my expectation for today. So if there's cards that you want from Ultimate Tots, I think you can feel free to go out and buy those. I just don't know how EA is going to top the level of content that we have had in this past week with all of the SBCs, the daily Tots upgrade packs, you know, uh, that we can do eight of every single day between the TOTS upgrade, the E-Figs TOTS upgrade. We have the 94 plus, the 93 plus. You know, I mean, this stuff right here was just absolutely incredible. So I don't know how EA is going to top that today. And that's my biggest worry about today being a super duper hype Friday on the game. Like I mentioned, for SBC content, we'll get some sort of shapeshifters player. Carrasco and Felipe Anderson are the leaked ones we have right now. And we have the Gerhardt. So there's not a lot of hype with those leaks unless something different comes today that we're uh, not seeing as a leak right now. One thing I will say that is a W is the Shapeshifters Daily Delights. This promo is already starting off on a very good note with the daily login SBCs. Make sure you do these every single day. They've been released two days now. If you didn't do the one from yesterday on Thursday, it is available under the live tab. Uh, it says like 81 double. I think it's called an 81 plus double. Uh, but it's the daily login upgrade, right? That's the SBC right there. Make sure you go ahead and do that one every single day. Get it done because that is how you are going to get that final guaranteed Shapeshifters Players Pack reward next Wednesday. This is when this will finish up. The next um, five days we get our daily logins done. 
and then we'll be able to get that pack into our ultimate teams and hopefully pack something sick from shapeshifters uh now we don't know if it's a two-week promo don't know if it's a one-week promo we'll probably figure that out today and find that out but it is an exciting day now one thing i have to say is there was some pack code that was added just a couple hours ago and this to me i don't know i don't know what to make of this guys i don't know you you take a look at this and tell me what you see this is giving me basically silver stars vibes but with bronzes and i remember when we had the whole week of silver cards when they were dropping like the flashback pogba the flashback kdb we were like um okay this is interesting but a lot of people didn't like it a 60 to 64 rated players times five pack this is giving me some sort of like bronze promo bronze objective vibes and i mean ea sports you better absolutely kill this and make this incredibly hyped because it is june and it's not even June, it's almost the middle to the late part of June. We have like two months left of this game that we're playing. And if we're going to have to be playing for bronze cards, you better make it special. That's all I have to say. So I'm not saying that I there's like bronze stuff coming, but this card, this pack being added seems a bit sus. I don't know how it's going to be paid out. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, but I... <laughs> I don't know. That gets my mind spinning about that. And I hope that that's not part of our content today, unless it's not related to like something that's going to be consistent. I don't know. Seriously, I don't even know what to think of that. That's kind of a crazy pack code to see added. Other than that, uh, we do have a guaranteed Shapeshifters players pack that's been added. I doubt that'd be today, of course, uh, released at any point. It's, it's in the objectives. I don't think they would do anything else with that today but like i mentioned with some of these cards that have been dropping and, and they've dropped so low with the prices for this past week guys like ben yetter who was 1.5 million coins and is now um right under a million coins still even after lacazette dropped yesterday and is a pretty decent looking card you know i think the market like i said has two ways to go today wait the, the way number one is content is super hype uh, and these cards drop a little bit further lower and they drop down even further. But I, I, I'm really feeling right now that I think what's going to end up happening is the content's not going to be as hype as people really want it to be. And these cards are going to rebound it back up. And that even goes for some of these guys that are in the leaked team, right? Jeonmin Son is getting a card today. He's 377,000 coins. He was 360 yesterday. If we take a look at his graph, people saw the leak for Hyunmin Son. He went from 370 all the way down to 330, went back up to 380, kind of where he is now. If there's more panic selling on these cards today, I know it's risky, but I really think that these guys are going to be expensive today. I really think it's going to be a price today for these. And that's going to mean that people are going to go back out on the market, buy ultimate tots cards and buy other tots cards in this game that they want to go out and use for their team. So watch out for the really, really rare ones today. You know, I, I would also mention that keep an eye on some of these that are the most hyped, right? I think that Davies, if he has these kind of stats as a striker, you know, just being a super meta card that is in the game already, you know, there's going to be some links to these cards that get in as shapeshifters today that could be really, really hype. Um, so that's just kind of something to keep an eye out for and to watch out for if you're trying to make coins today on the market. But if you're just trying to have fun today on the game as well, EA has a great opportunity set out right here before us that if you've got coins to spend, uh, you can do a little 82 plus player pick craft before these expire or maybe even the 80 plus e-figs. Um, I'm going to have a bunch of 82 plus player picks and my 84 times 25 pack. I'm going to save it for today's promo. I'm not going to open it for ultimate tots. I'm going to save it for today's promo because why not? Um, and just give it a go and then open up a bunch of player picks and hope that we can hit one of these brand new cards um, and, and have some fun with that. Uh, but that's one thing you guys could do today if you're wanting to. Now, also, let's talk about fodder. Since we're talking about SBCs, of course, it's a weekend, right? And that means lightning rounds. That means supply. Like I was mentioning, how how is the market going to react today to these cards being uh, supplied or not supplied? How supplied are these cards going to be? I don't think there's a lot of saved up packs. There's going to be maybe just a few, but not that many. And I think it's going to make the cards rare, like I said. But that's still, with lightning rounds that are going to be put out, that's still going to mean fodder is going to get supplied these cards are going to drop from the very very high prices that they saw earlier on this week they've already started to do so right 86s some of these guys were extinct at 16k they're just slowly starting to go back down a bit now what i would say is a lot of your sbcs that require these cards you know you still have a 94 plus that's going to be out today if people have not finished that yet a 93 plus e fix you've got a, a moments player pick that is still alive as well 
you know, I, I could see these cards dropping and then having a short rebound at some point today. But ultimately, especially if they run the late night lightning rounds like the 84 plus star duos and all that sort of stuff, these cards are going to continue dropping on the market. They're going to continue falling in price because they're just going to keep getting supplied. And that's what's going to push them down further during the weekend and make them probably investable as we look into tomorrow, we look into Sunday uh, and stuff like that. As we have more uh, uh, SBCs coming on the weekend with, when EA switches the hype over from get really excited about the cards that are in packs today for S, uh, for packs and stuff. And then, okay, well, we're going to release some content via SBCs, right? That's usually how it goes. Fridays are usually not really the insane SBC days. That's more of like the Sunday, Monday, and into the week time frame because they want you to be excited about the cards and packs and spend FIFA points right away. So these cards are going to keep dropping. Watch them if you have them. If you still have a couple uh, or watch them if you want to buy. If you still have a couple, I think I would take the coins. Now, a slight change for today on Friday is since team of the season is ending as well, we've got the old schedule of foot champs back. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed this yet, but you're going to be able to wake up today. And basically, as you're about to watch this video or maybe an hour or so after you watch it, if you're early, um, foot champs is going to be starting because it starts back at the old time and it's going to end at the old time as well. No more playing foot champs until Tuesday, which means for me, I'm probably out. I don't think I'm going to play foot champs this weekend, especially since it's a really busy one for me. Um, and it's not worth the grind. And I loved having the extra two days to play, but they're reverting it back to normal. Now, the other good thing is there's still Todd's cards in these player picks. They are e-figs, same rewards as last week. The only thing that changes are the tradable packs now contain the minor league tots and e-figs tots that are 91 plus. So that, I guess, is sort of a W. Basically, it's the same rewards as last week, but we're back on the old schedule time frame. So I wanted to point that out to you guys if you were not aware of that. Also, I mentioned tot swap tokens. Make sure you get these turned in. If you have not um, redeemed your tokens yet, get these turned in because this expires today at 6 p.m. A lot of team of the season content goes away. And I would even imagine this, well, we still have a, um, we still have this, uh, you know, the 94 plus and the 93 plus that show up under the tots tab. I wonder if the team of the season tab is going to stay here for one more day. But after today at 6 p.m., a lot of these expire, right? Your tots challenge, your economy bowl tots upgrade, your e fix pack, your tots pack. So it's also like the last morning if you're trying, like myself. I'm going to open some player picks pre 6 p.m. today because I'm trying to get this counter to 150 if I can. Uh, so kind of a last chance to open and do some packs for ultimate team of the season as well on the game today. So it's, it's going to be an interesting time, man. It, just to, go uh, to quickly go back and look, you know, shapeshifters in FIFA 20, I, I know we didn't do a deep dive earlier on in the week because this promo kind of all of a sudden was in our lap and we were getting ready for it during a hype week of tots. Um, but there was some cool content that was released back in FIFA 20 around this stuff. The biggest difference though is that this promo was released like before or right around foot birthday it was in march of fifa 20 and now we're in the summertime right like this is right now with the past content that we have had in this last week with all these insane sbcs e8 keeps rising the bar and they're just like they're they're putting this game into summer content mode and they're gonna have to continue to do that i think if we look back at how the content was in fifa 20 we'll be disappointed to see um some of the stuff that they did then there was a guaranteed Shapeshifters players pack that was released during uh, the Shapeshifters promo in FIFA 20 uh, as well. So there was some decent players in there. Kolarov, I don't know if you remember a CDM Kolarov. A lot of people got that SBC done. I remember there was this flashback Rooney as well. Um, that was a good card. Zakaria had a pretty decent item. Um, and then, you know, the content during this uh, promo a couple years ago was just okay. So hopefully today and throughout this week, they keep that really, really high level of hype with everything that's going on in Shapeshifters. But it is a pretty, it, it seems like they're just trying to make it a seamless transition right away uh, out of team of the season and into something else, trying to keep the hype high, trying to keep people engaged um, throughout the summer on this game. And I think they're going to have good ways of doing that. But I think today, again, my gut feeling is that it's going to be a bit of a letdown day content wise, um, unless you can maybe pack one of the players or for some reason, if the SBC guy that they put out is really, really 
good. Now, also, one I've been a, what's been a mainstay of team of the season so far has been like the Ultimate Tots Cup and this kind of stuff. Uh, this is still live, but I really hope they give us something related to like a, a friendly mode that we can grind, whether it's today on Friday or tomorrow on Saturday, some friendly mode that we can grind with shapeshifters as well, because yes, this is an objective, but it's really not. You do an SBC and you get an objective done. It's like they're tied together. It's not really a gameplay objective for shapeshifters. So hopefully we have something along those lines coming out uh, pretty soon as a part of shapeshifters as well. But it's a hype day, guys. I'll be completely honest because the cards that are coming out today look really, really insane and really sick. If EA do the business and drop some really sick cards, you know, you're going to have people on the game today that will be very, very, very excited. Um, and I think there's a lot of reason to be excited. Did they add another card design in here? Because um, domestic man of the match, Libertadores, Conway Bowl Libertadores. I don't know what's going on with these menus right now. Um, also, I don't know if you guys saw yesterday. It's not my game's not doing it right now. But EA actually implemented one of the brand new features on the transfer market. It shows you like uh, recommended players to actually buy on the transfer market. Like if you if you go in there and click into it, I'll see if my transfer market shows it when I go in there right now and look at it. But it showed me three cards, like all gold cards with their average price down below. And, you know, this was something that we talked about or saw in one of the, the updates that was going to happen. Uh, EA posted some pitch notes about it. And now to actually see that in the game is really, really interesting, but it caught us off guard yesterday just for a little bit uh, to see that be released. Oh, I didn't even talk about Lacazette. While we take forever to load into the game, I don't know why it's taking forever. I mean, the PS5 game mode. Uh, Lacazette yesterday didn't get a four-star um, boost, a five-star boost to either skills or weak foot. So yes, this is a really good card and it's a nice boost, a really nice card, you know, plus two, threes, and fours over his captain's item. Not a terrible price, very craftable. I think people are bummed out because it doesn't have five-star skills or a five-star weak foot. So that was a bit of an L from yesterday, and it's our last end of an era card, we believe, as of right now, to know that is going to be coming. So the end of an era stuff, I believe, is going to be fizzing out, and I don't see this little menu that I saw before. So if any of you guys saw that thing on the transfer market, basically, if you went over the transfers tab, uh, or maybe it was in here. It was, it was one of the two. It would show you like three players that, you know, you could maybe improve your squad with because people at your same level are, are buying those players. Uh, but I was like, man, you know, looking at my squad, EA Sports, which I've got the bronze squad active right now. So that's kind of funny. But uh, looking at the main team, I don't think people are buying gold Pulisic uh, to, you know, upgrade their team when your team looks like this. So I, I kind of thought that was funny based on EA's recommendations for me based off of players that uh, are in my squad. So anyways, there's that. Hey, it's going to be a fun Friday in FIFA. It's another promo Friday. If you're saving some player picks, if you got any packs, good luck. Open those. Let me know what you get. Tweet me if you get any sick packs. Or, of course, uh, hang out in the streams as well. Twitch.tv slash the foot account. Link down below in the description. We'll be streaming live today on Friday with the new content drop, looking at everything that comes out and how it, of course, impacts the market. It'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.